I'm Carl. I'm Dave. And this is Beast Made Reviews. Guys, welcome back. It is Carl from Beast Made Reviews, and the summer is here in full swing. I don't know about you guys, but up here in Connecticut, we've been getting 85 degree days. It's beautiful. I love the summer, but you have to dress for it and you have to prepare for it. So today we're going to go through our summer EDC. Now, because it's warmer out and I have a lot less pockets than I do in the wintertime, less jackets, all that kind of stuff, and you want to keep it light, well, I usually really strip down my EDC to just the bare essentials and the lightweight ones at that. Starting it off, I always have a bandana. I mentioned this last time. These are just so useful, even if it's just wiping the sweat off your brow. This comes in so handy. I've used it more times than I can count. Now, I like thin wallets. A lot of times I'll use a card case instead of a wallet just to keep it thin. But in the summertime, Leather just does not feel good in my pocket, so I switch over to a money clip. And this is actually, this was a gift. This is a Tiffany money clip. And I would never pay the $120 or whatever it is for this from Tiffany, but since it was a gift, as a matter of fact, I stood in at a friend's wedding as a groomsman for a guy who got pulled over on the way down, arrested, it's a whole story. And they ended up giving me his groomsman gift, which was these, and I use it all the time. I like it a lot. Tiffany isn't really known as a men's brand. This is generally the thing you'll get for your wife or your girlfriend when they wanna see that turquoise box. But in my experience, it really has been a lifesaver. It gets bent out of shape, it bends right back. It really shows very little sign of wear. Now my days are so varied. There are days I'll be walking around and traveling and then there are days where I'm at a desk from morning till night. And I really wanna know where I stand as far as calories out versus calories in. So I've been wearing a step counter lately. This is the Fitbit One, and I've actually had this for a long, long time. It's so small that it fits on the inside of your pocket. And this here just helps me track how many steps, how many calories I'm burning during the day. I like it a lot because it talks to your smartphone. You can kind of see where you are. Have I been a total sloth all day and I can't really afford to go get a Sunday tonight? Or have I been walking around all day and I did six miles? Well, this kind of lets me know where I am, especially when things get hectic and you can't hardly remember what you did. Now, let me tell you a little secret about Dave, okay? Dave is actually a really, really good dude. I know he comes across that way on video and sometimes you wonder, is it disingenuous or is he really that way? Dave is a really, really good guy. And as a matter of fact, for my birthday, he sent me this. Now this is a titanium pen from Big Idea Design LLC and it's called the Arto. This is the first really nice pen that I've had. This is made out of titanium. It takes a lot of different inserts. I guess that's their claim to fame is that it takes over 200 inserts. So it uses my favorite, the uh, Pilot V5 insert. And what I like about this is the fact that not only was it given to me by a friend, so it has sentimental value, but it is so beautifully machined that even when I'm writing with it, sometimes you just can't help but notice how beautiful a piece this really is. It's something that falls into what I would say the perfect gift category. And that is something that somebody would really enjoy, but they're not gonna buy for themselves. And this here fits the bill perfectly. This is great. And I'm very, very careful not to lend it out or let anybody use it who I think might walk away with it. It's just, I love this thing. This is great. I've been carrying this for the last few months. Now, as far as light goes, I have been rocking the Quark Tactical. This is from Four Sevens. It puts out a pretty decent beam. Uh, mostly I'm just rummaging around in my car or in a bag or something like that, but this is definitely enough. Whereas if you're on the side of the road and you have to walk back, say on a back country road and there's no lights, this would be enough to get you there. This uses a single CR123A battery. And what I like about those batteries is that they have a great shelf life. You could put this away, not turn it on for a year, come back and it will have lost very, very little battery life. Small enough to fit in a pocket, but I typically put this in my bag. And lately I have been rocking the brand spanking new Nutsack Sack Daddy. This is the big brother to the Nutsack Satchel Pro, which I showed you in the springtime. This here will fit my 15 inch laptop. It's made out of heavy duty wax canvas, full grain leather, has a shoulder strap. This thing is a tank and I love it. Now for me, a baby 1911, like the SIG P238 is the ideal carry gun because it's substantial enough so you know you have something there, yet it's lightweight enough and thin enough that you can wear it in the summertime without any problems. Now, the reason I chose the SIG P238 versus the 938 was that the nine millimeter in a small frame like this didn't allow me to get the same group in the same amount of time that I did with this. And if the chips are down, I wanna be able to place shots. It doesn't matter what I'm shooting. If I'm shooting a cannon, but I miss my target, it's useless. This still lives in the same old cheap DeSantis holster, and this has really become like a faithful companion. 
Now as for a knife, I have been using the Kershaw Blast. Now this is a Ken Onion design. It's a Tanto blade and it's one of the first knives that I ever bought. And I used this when I was an electrician in the field all the time. And the reason was is because I was able to grab with one hand, open it with no problem and do what I had to do and then put it away. A lot of times these other ones you have to flick it and that's not such a big deal, but the assisted opening really, really helped. For utility, I really like the combo edge on this with the serrated portion and then the plain edge here. This is a great knife, has been used and abused and just begs for more. Made in the USA, Kershaw, Ken Onion design, it's hard to beat. That's it for me guys, that's what I've been carrying. So let's go over to Dave and see what he's been carrying besides that full head of hair. Thanks Carl, Dave here with Beast Made Reviews. So with my EDC stuff for summer, um, I have some new things that I wanna show you as well as some old things that I put in the different rotation this, uh, this summer here. Every summer we like to go up to see family in New England and they live in Massachusetts. So we took kind of a, a long trip this year and went for about three weeks and so during that time, my EDC had to change. I wasn't exactly sure what would be kosher to carry up there because they have a little bit stricter laws with knives and stuff. So I changed up some of that. And some of the stuff I have is brand new, so I worked it into the uh, trip, and some things just worked out better for the trip overall. Now, I pretty much carry everything in the same place, so if you wanna see how I carry my uh, stuff, you can be referred to the previous video on Spring EDC, where we talk about that. So without any further ado, let's get to my stuff. All right, so here is my EDC for summer. Everything kind of laid out. Some of the things have obviously returned and some things are new. Obviously, uh, the one thing that has returned is my LumTech watch right here. The Combat B33, really love this. It does not come with this leather strap. This leather strap was made by a friend of mine. It comes with two NATO straps, which I really like. I almost brought them on here, but this summer I really wore this a lot, lot more. Next is this flashlight right here. This is the Beta QR by Prometheus Lights. Really love this uh, light. This is in brass. It's not a super powerful light, but it's just enough. It has a really nice natural beam, uh, naturally colored beam, I should say. Um, comes with this keychain, which I don't really put on my keys, but I like to spin it. It's kind of like a, a nice little fidget spinner on top of, <laughs> on top of uh, the flashlight there, so I do like that. And it uses a AAA battery. Uh, which makes it really small. As you can see, it just fits really nicely in the pocket. Uh, since it's brass, it's a little on the heavy side for its size, but because it's small, it's still not super heavy. I really like this a lot. And of course, you know, flashlight is one of my most used items in my EDC, so there you go. Next is this little pocket tool. I got it on Kickstarter. It was a really good deal on Kickstarter. You have a lot of makers on Kickstarter that will make short runs of products and I found that to be one of the best uses for Kickstarter. This is made of titanium. It's anodized and uh, bee blasted, I think. Anyway, it has like a light blue finish on there and then it's brushed off and stuff like that. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch of tools on there. It's got a pry bar, a uh, hex bit for like a screwdriver. Um, it's got two different places for um, a lanyard and that's my lanyard, I just did that. It's got nice little um, uh, wrench uh, hex bits there and a can opener, of course. A uh, little uh, Phillips head right there, and I think this is a package opener. Anyway, super, super light. I love taking this on trips, and since I went on a big trip this summer, it was great, and I actually did use it a few times, so it's a really, really handy. Completely disappears in your pocket. The one thing that I would say, though, is that because it's so small, you really do actually need this lanyard uh, if you're gonna use the, the bottle opener at all, which I do, so you kinda need that just to get the extra grip. So let's go over here real quick. So I'm sure you're probably already wondering about this. This is a little uh, silicone ring by a company called Groove Rings. And I'm gonna have a full uh, review of their products coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But essentially, these are just really soft rubber uh, silicone rings. And they're used to replace your normal wedding ring or whatever ring you wanna wear uh, for either athletic purposes or maybe you're going outdoors. For me, um, I really use this for playing guitar, and because uh, I don't, I don't like to use my metal band when I'm playing guitar for a lot of different reasons. Anyway, uh, I'll get more into this later, but essentially, it's been a life changer. Really, really use this a lot during the summer, and I really highly recommend it. So we'll put this away and then uh, come back to it later. These over here 
are cheap earplugs. I had to use them a lot to keep water out of my ears. I had uh, an ear infection, so I had to take showers a lot with these. I normally do wear ear protection a lot anyway, and so I just replaced my normal ear protection of uh, the earplugs that I normally have on my last EDC with these. And these are cheap, they're not great, uh, but they serve a purpose and they serve them well. So that was in my EDC this summer. Next are these uh, sunglasses from Randolph Engineering. Um, these are wonderful sunglasses. These are their aviators. Randolph Engineering, American made sunglasses, mil spec. You can actually, if you're in the military, they have a, a, a military code. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. So you can use that in your loadout if you're in the military, which I think is really cool. And it comes bayonets on the uh, side there for your uh, for your ears there, really love that. Um, I was really wanting to get some of these because I really like the squared off aviator shape a lot, especially if you watched uh, uh, Mad Men, the lead character Don Draper had some of these and I just was enamored by these, by the looks of them. Super useful for driving and they, they just cut out just a lot. They're just some of the perfect sunglasses. So I wore them a lot this summer. Um, really, really high quality, jewelry grade, apparently, jewelry grade finishes and stuff like that, glass, polarized, all the works. This is their gunmetal um, finish there, which I really, really like, goes with everything. They have a lot of different finishes and colors, uh, so go check them out. They're not cheap, but they are really, really high quality, so definitely go check these out. Randolph Engineering. All right, so this pen right here is by Tai 2 Design. What I really love about this, it takes a great refill, and this is made of titanium. It is just a really simple design. One of the things I, I really love about it is that this is a magnet. So really cool. A very symmetrical design, as you can see here. Uh, these two caps right here are just, you know, you take them off and you can get the refill, really easy to do. As you can see, I'm running out of ink here. Here is the, um, I don't know if you can see it here, the Uniball SXR1 is the preferred uh, refill. This is probably one of my most used pens. I keep this around the house, and if I'm going on a trip or anything, I usually take this with me just because it's so reliable and uh, really easy to use. So yeah, this is definitely a great one. Tie to design. All right, this right here is a wallet by uh, Above the Fray. This is their minimalist wallet. I believe they have a couple more. And these are just PVC cards I got for show. I'm not going to show my stuff in there. Uh, but a very, very simple wallet. I actually showed this wallet on our video about Father's Day gift ideas. And this is a wonderful wallet. It is just a very simple wallet, really well done. I wanted to show it to you again. There's an elastic band. It comes with two others. Um, different colors that you can use. The elastic band does a couple of things. It holds the whole thing together, but it also is used for cash. So you can put cash in there as well. Uh, these are 10 cards right here, so it can hold at least 10 cards for your uh, credit cards. You can fan it open and then kind of just pick a, pick what else, you know, pick what you want out real quick and then get it really easy access. As you can see, uh, burnished edges. If you don't know what burnished edges are, I'm not a leather worker, but essentially it's when you finish the edge of uh, leather. It takes a lot of time to do. So if they take the time to burnish the edges, it's just uh, an indicator they really care about the design. Very, very simple wallet, as you can see. I mean, a minimalist to the core, but I really like it. And uh, I used that some this summer as well. Last but not least is my knife. And of course, I always carry a knife on me. And this summer, I went to New England, and I wasn't exactly sure what the knife laws were in Massachusetts, uh, being a little bit more strict on that kind of thing. I just went with something safe. This is something that I absolutely love. This is by Great Eastern Cutlery. It is their 77 Barlow, and um, I absolutely love it. Great Eastern Cutlery makes amazing, amazing traditional uh, knives. This is their sheep's foot uh, blade there and it is in saw cut blood red bone. You can see the saw cuts there. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I got one of them for me, which is this one, and I got another one for my son. My son was born in January, so his birthstone is actually a garnet, which is a red uh, rock. Barlows are traditionally a very old design, and they're used as kind of a coming of age gift for young boys. They always have been. 
in the, in the book Tom Sawyer, he wanted to get a, a Barlow knife, but he was an orphan. So it was a big deal for him to actually get his own Barlow knife. So I got one as a matching set, one for me and one for my son, so we can have one and share it, kind of a coming of age gift. He's five right now, so I'm gonna keep this for a while, but I do carry this a lot, especially in dressier occasions. It just slips right in here into the knife sheath. This is from Knife Ship Free. They have a very generous sheath. As you can see, it's been used a lot heavily. So um, that is it. So that's all my stuff. So that's all we have. Thank you for watching Beast Made Reviews. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. We'll see you next time. Bye.